All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Violet Let's Play. So, if you guys missed out during the last episode, we went and challenged out at Nimona over at the Mezzo Gaza section, and uh, from there, we were able to go and finally get ourselves a W and actually complete off with Victory Path once and for all. And now, what is going to be happening here, guys, is that we're going to go and jump and head on right over here to the Zero Gate and start off with a brand new mission known as the Way Home with Arvin, and uh, we have to go and uh, travel to the Great Crater of Paldea together and experience about what this whole place is going to be now. Now, from what I have been gathered is that this area is going to be a little bit more uh, type of ruthless. It's going to have a little bit of some more uh, stronger type of Pokemon out here while we get ourselves charged up by a, uh, by a Fletchling out here. but uh, Or Fletchinger, I should say. Let's actually go and run away from that because we don't really need to worry about that Pokemon at all. Uh, but anyways, let's just go and head right on into uh, this gate here because I know that uh, from what we've seen from before. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a Gimme Ghoul. I didn't even realize that there was this guy around out here. But let's go and finally enter into this gate because I know that uh, we saw this gate from before uh during our time in medallion but we just couldn't really go and do too much about it i think during one of my episodes we actually kind of jumped over the the actual gate itself and then we actually got to see this big huge type of laboratory even though that we can't really go and do anything too much about it because i think if you try to interact with it it's, it's i think it will say like the gates like locked or something you can't really go and enter it to right away not until you actually go and jump into this mission though and then you can finally be able to get to see that the laboratory is finally going to be opening up at this point now, however, uh, hopefully you guys do go and check out on the Dark Cloud 2 type of let's play that we're also going to be doing as well within these two videos for today. Uh, because, uh, however, we are going to be actually challenging out with the Rainbow Butterfly boss that's going to be happening at this point. I know it has been a very long time coming. It's been, I think, like six or seven episodes. But, however, we can finally now get to say that Chapter 2 is going to be coming to a close. We can finally be jumping into Chapter 3, which I'm super excited about. And hopefully get to go and challenge out with some more other type of new enemies uh, when that actually does happen. Because we do have our Ride Pod buddy finally now fully, up well, not fully upgraded, but upgraded to a point where it's going to be really nice to go and have and uh, it should be very easy hopefully throughout the other times that we go across through some other new type of dungeon levels that happen uh, but anyways I do have to say the lavatory actually does look pretty nice around out in here because it kind of feels a little bit more sprucey than, uh, than than that other lab that we actually walked around with with Arvin oh but hey look at that the lights have finally turned on and uh, let's see who's kind of running the joint out here normally it should be Toro right but we haven't really seen him all the way fully just yet like uh like, like not like within like the phone or or like tv aspect but haven't really got the mean of it uh, in, uh, in person yet but hey it seems like uh, penny's also here and that kind of seems a little bit strange because normally i thought penny was like running community service or something like that and i thought she was like uh, having some sort of punishment Oh, yep, and uh, Noelle just literally says, hey, is that the you with the fluffy bag? Well, well the fluffy Eevee bag? And yep, that is Penny. Uh, but hey, uh, you know what? It kind of makes sense now because, like, I didn't really realize that because, like, I know that during the time of us uh, going through, like, the Starfall mission and actually kind of uh, finishing off with that whole type of time, uh, I didn't really realize that uh, Penny was going to have, like, every single, like, type of evolution that was going to be there on her team. Well, except for the Glaceon and the... Uh, and uh, uh, what was it? The Glaceon and the Espeon, though. Even though that both of those two type of evolution Pokemon are like some of my of my favorite type of ones that are from there. Uh, and I know that you guys are gonna be probably asking is, but like, uh, why do you have like a uh, Espeon like on your on your team there, Prox? Well, it's because that since I found a Sylveon within the Afrenita type of area that we were at like during one of our past uh, type of times out here, um, I decided to actually just go and catch out a Sylveon since it was like a really rare Pokemon to really go and find around in that type of place and. Uh, uh, and I'm actually really happy that I do have that Pokemon on the team. It's been really nice so far. We haven't really had too much of a problem with having Sylveon on the team. It's been great. And uh, it's been working like a charm like through most of the different battles that, that actually came in clutch most of the time. So, uh, you know what? I've only used a Sylveon, I think, like what, like only once probably in my Pokemon Y Nuzlocke randomizer thing that I've done before. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think... Um, it's been like a fun Pokemon, but I just never really got to use it like in, in a main type of story game. So it's been pretty nice. And uh, oh yeah, and also too, one thing before I go and basically uh, continue onwards with our stuff here, if we actually go and check into the box, uh, you can actually find a main zone around in the great type of plate or, uh, or great crater, sorry, uh, type of area that's actually uh, around out here. Uh, you just have to go and use Maraid on uh, with the rock climbing function. You should be able to go and find him. He's actually a little bit hard to like kind of spot out because he's like kind of more like crammed up. In a few corners around like in the uh, great crater area uh, but I think uh, we should be uh, okay to continue onwards now but here we go 
Now, I have to say, like, this area kind of feels a little bit like Fallout 3, man. I uh, just going to go through, like, all these different, like, type of, like, like gates, I guess, and uh, see them open up and then just see what the open world kind of feels like afterwards. Oh, uh, man, you know, like, I I've always wanted to, like, try out, like, a first-person shooter, like, type of game, like, on my channel, but I wouldn't really... I, I kind of really don't really want to do that because like my whole channel is kind of based around more so of like RPG type of base type of games and also like platformer games and whatnot. So I would probably have to make like another channel or something like that if I wanted to uh, do like first person shooters or something. I know that I've done one I think before actually speaking about that was uh, Resident Evil 4. I know that I went and did a, uh, a, a let's play about that and. I want to say Resident Evil 4 on my uh, on my channel didn't really do all that too good like when I first started off with this whole with, with this whole YouTube channel. Uh, so I don't know if I may probably want to come back to that and maybe do like a reboot type of series for it and probably do like that PS4 version or something like that. But I'll see what happens later on down the road because I know that I'm doing like a whole bunch of reboot series and everything that's been going on uh, for right now because I'm going to be changing up Super Mario 64 DS. I'm going to be changing up uh, Ocarina of Time that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm even going to be changing up uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland at some point. So uh, hopefully you guys do go and check out Nightmare in Dreamland uh, for that type of series that's been going on so far on the channel. Uh, but I will be uh, deleting it afterwards and I will be playing uh, Kirby Mass Attack at some point. Now... Uh, however, uh, speaking about other type of games to also go and reboot, uh, I have been uh, thinking about actually uh, going back into Link to a Past, but actually doing something a little bit different. And uh, not doing like a randomizer or something, but going and doing the 3DS version for it. And that is actually known as a Link Between Worlds. And I don't know if you guys are interested on in actually me going through Link Between Worlds, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but let's go and finally jump into the, uh, let's jump into this whole Area Zero place and see what this is all about, man pretty excited to see what this whole area is wow look at this awesome scenery that's going on here for this though i have to say absolutely amazing now uh, i have to say this whole area feels exactly almost like um like skyward sword somewhat like for the very first type of area that you go and kind of interact with it kind of feels like that but hey uh, let's go and uh, explore around out here and see what this is all about so now I'm back here again huh. well I think that I might have died once or twice there uh, well I know that was kind of like a long drop kind of felt like the same type of drop that literally happened uh, in our drill dozer series a little bit a while ago within episode one uh, so the show's about to go back into his ball it's probably just hungry or something well maybe uh, well wait a second where's the student council girl yeah, whatever happened to Nomoda, too? Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, she's gone. Don't you think that she... Uh, everyone, uh, you have to go see this. Oh, Nomoda. Uh, zero, area Zero is amazing. Well, at least we... Uh, well, at least uh, so far, Nomoda seems like she's already fine. Uh, but come on already. I guess your ability uh, would be own tempo, huh? Uh, biometric identification progress for humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vile signs are all within normal range. Because that you were able to go and make a decent... Descent without e well, without being harmed. Well, so far that was pretty good. I'll help to Mariah on there. So I had concerns that you might fail, but given the crudence of only uh, available access uh, methods, oh, uh, well, I think your dad's uh, sarcasm dictator uh, near uh, needs fixing. Uh, so you were worried about it. So that's so sweet. Well, you should now go and make your way to me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. So, however, the entrance to the lab is barred with four locks installed with exterior, which I cannot unlock. Oh, man. Okay. Four locks. Only your only way uh, to me, you must visit for uh, research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Ah, okay. So, it kind of looks like those type of buildings, I guess, behind us. Uh, so yes, let's uh, disable four, the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud. Wow, so now you're trying to break the fourth wall there, Nimona? We're literally playing a video game right now. <laughs> See, I always like it when, when uh, video games kind of like uh, break the fourth wall a little bit here and there. If you never actually went and played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, then you'll probably get to see that there's a lot of references that kind of break the fourth wall or, uh, like around within that game because it's crazy. Oh, look at this. It feels like I'm playing like uh, Earthbound or Mother 3 all over again. We got like everybody kind of falling around me and all that. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, well, let's actually go and check around a few of these different places out here. and Let's get ourselves a, a feel of the land, I guess. So we got ourselves a max potion out here, so that's pretty nice. 
Um, let's go and check around and see if there's anything else that is really open to us. But I have to say, the OST in here is pretty nice. It has like a very kind of soothing atmosphere around out here in this place. But also, too, not only that, but the one thing that seems kind of funny to me is, is that this whole area feels almost exactly like um, Dark Cloud 2 somewhat. Because I know that when we went to the Rainbow Falls that was literally in that episode, this literally feels like it. And I don't know if I should literally make a thumbnail out of this whole area because it seems so beautiful out of here. It's so nice. Look at this. Uh, wow. It's so, it's so absolutely stunning, man. Okay, well, let's go ahead and check around with some more different areas around out here, and, uh, let's see what else we can go and find. Hopefully there's, like, a Gimme Ghoul somewhere around, because I don't know if you can probably find Gimme Ghouls around in here. So this is inside the Great Crater. It feels like, uh, it's different from seeing a uh, textbook. It's so intense. Oh, uh, so I kind of like the little uh, automa uh, automatic, uh, text boxes that are also around out here. So what type of level are these guys at? So what level is, the, like, this giraffe? Uh, yeah, it is a giraffe. It's not a, not a giraffe. So it is at 52, so it's not too entirely bad. Um, no, I don't think I can go for a nice flash, can I? Let me see, is this a super effective? It is. All right, perfect. All right, nice. Let's see how much uh, EXP that I can go grab. Oh, it's not that bad. Not that bad of EXP at all. All right, so we're already, what, like 11 minutes into the actual video itself, so we got some more time to go and kill for a little bit. Uh, now, I do actually have to go with Beta somewhere soon, so I can't really go and do too much uh, videos for you guys. or Well, well, too much time for you guys, I should say. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll try and see if I can try and gather out as much videos as I can throughout for today. And, uh, and try to uh, stock up with so much stuff. Alright, but anyways, let's go and check around out here. Nothing, anything too special, but, however, let's go ahead and see what this item has to offer. I don't think I can actually go and head into this place just yet. If I can, well, I don't know why that the water is like so slow. I need to go and pick up with this item, man. So it's a fresh water. Really? That's all for it? Oh, Penny, move out of the way. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm really trying to get out of this type of area spot now. All right, come on, get me out of this water. <sighs> It'd be so nice to have a ride on around out here that I wouldn't have to worry about it. But nice. Okay, I do see another extra item out here. So we've been finding some pretty good healing items. Max Potion, Fresh Water, Hyper Potions too. Nice, that's also another good thing to also go and find around out here. Okay, so Machamps and Frost Moss and other random Pokemon you can literally find around this area. Oh, let's see what else we got. Pichu Fur. Eh, I don't think we need to really worry about having Pichu Fur. But at least that's a good crafting item though. To go and grab anything else that we do need. So we got, uh, yeah, I can't really go and read through all that automatic text, though, because it's going way too fast for us for me to even go and do anything right now at the moment. Oh, but I think I see one of the stations right up ahead. That's actually pretty nice. At least we can go and uh, literally finish off with one of these for today. Oh, whoa, what is that? Oh, that's one of the uh, newer type of Pokemon out here. I think I already have, a, I think, Nimble, and that actually evolves into that guy. So let's go and kind of fall down here. Oh, I see one of the uh, type of stack attack of things. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. Yep, and we just found it. <laughs> Normally, I kind of think that they kind of look like stack attack, but they're like the uh, the more um, evolved version of that uh, of that salt mon Pokemon that we saw from a little while ago. Well, I was close. Uh, well, wow, yeah, such a great memory, Penny. Uh, so what's great is my comment says compared to you a lot, apparently. <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Whoa! Well, look at that. It's one of these uh, Glimit things, isn't it? That's is what it's known? Well, well, not Glimit, but I think it's Glamora. I think that's what the evolution of it is. Huh. Interesting Pokemon. So, do I have to go and battle this thing? I know that we've done it before. We went and battled out with uh, Glamora the last time. Oh, here we go. It's a double battle. Okay. So, let's go and set up for a Trellize out here. And, uh... I think this is how we were able to knock him out, right? With an energy ball? Because I'm pretty sure we could go and probably do this again. So let's go set this up. I wonder if I could go and capture... Well, I, I'm pretty sure that I think we could go and capture out this mod, but I don't really think we need to since I already went and got, like, the pre-evo and all that stuff, so it doesn't really matter to me because we can just go and train up that Pokemon anyways. So here we go. Energy ball. I know that we did this the last time, and apparently this did, a, like, a lot of damage to the Gamora. Uh -huh. Not as much as I was expecting, but hey, there's Drill Run. There we go, and that was super effective, so that actually uh, knocks it out there pretty fast. Oh, well, that's just great. Toxic Debris. 
Well, I don't think the toxic debris is not going to really help you out all that too much because you should have went and did that maybe before. Well, I, I think the toxic debris, I think, is just literally a, um, just an ability that literally happens. But, yeah, that was already too late for that to even show up to even begin with. So are they going to be a lot more uh, of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? Probably. This is just only just the beginning. You think that was just something? So please, so you got to go, no idea how terrifying areas you know, really is. I haven't patronized you much. Well, Tora did say that there was four other stations, so this is just only just the first. So things could actually start getting picked up a little bit more crazy than the one it is doing right now. But, oh, what's going on here? Okay, so I guess we could finally go and enter into this area. Uh, well, you know what? We're getting close to the, uh, to the, well, we are close to, like, around, like, the 16-minute mark, so I'm not gonna go and do too much type of stuff, so I'm gonna go and end off this episode out here for today, guys, so in the next one, we'll be going and jumping into some more of Area Zero. We found one of the four of the stations, so we'll just have to go and check around here, uh, at some point, uh, during the next episode, see what, uh, the inside of this whole area is gonna be all about, and then hopefully at some point, maybe we could go and reach up to another one of the bases. Oh, well, there you go. Speaking about one of the other bases, it's just right down there, so at least we kinda know exactly where, where our next destination is going to be uh, running into right on after. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And of course, peace.